Hi everyone, I'm Cornbread and today we're going to be making homemade mochi. This recipe only needs five ingredients plus a microwave and your filling can be whatever you want it to. I'm using ube jam myself, but you could change the filling to fruits and vegetables, jams, jellies, your red bean paste, whatever paste you want. No filling, whatever filling you desire. This recipe also makes about eight mochi, so feel free to double it or make one big mochi if you'd like to. And let's jump into it. But before we do anything in the kitchen, let's make sure to wash our hands for at least 20 seconds. Let's get our soap and lather up on the palms and in between our fingers. Let's get our thumb areas, back of the hands and the back of the fingers. Let's get our fingertips, that's very important around our wrists. Make sure you're all good to go. Now a good hand washing also includes sanitization and moisturizing to make sure that your hands aren't prone to infections afterwards. So for this recipe, what we're going to use is half a cup of glutinous rice flour. And now I had to actually go out and get this from Seafood City um, because I don't usually have it in my pantry. So I went out and got glutinous rice flour because I heard the more glutinous, the more like squishy is gonna be. And that's the good stuff. That is that is the good stuff. The so glutinous rice flour, half a cup. We're going to use half a cup of just plain granulated sugar. And that's all good and dandy. And then we're also going to do half a cup of water I've seen a lot of recipes where they varied with how much water they had, and I think half a cup should be fine with this. We are going to need some starch for later um, when we are rolling out the mochi dough. And for our filling today, you could honestly fill up mochi with whatever you'd like, but today I'm a sucker for ube, so I'm going to be using ube jam um, for my filling. So let's grab half a cup of glutinous rice flour. We're going to get our half a cup of sugar. And you can use how much sugar you want, honestly. Um, a lot of the videos that I watched, they have varying ranges of sugar, like they have varying ranges of water. And to be honest, it just kind of depends on how sweet you want your mochi to be. We're gonna stir the glutinous rice flour and the sugar together. Just kind of blend them so they're nice and together. We're gonna ignore my cat trying to get onto the counter because that's not what we're aiming for. We don't want the secret ingredient to be cat today. So once that's all nice and mixed together, let's go ahead and grab our half cup of water and we're gonna go ahead and just pour that all in and just mix it all in together. whisk. Make sure that there are no lumps in here. Make sure it's all completely dissolved. Just completely and utterly dissolved in there. Get lost in the sauce. Once that starts feeling really good, we're actually going to switch over to the microwave and we're going to microwave this for two minutes on high. So let's pop this in the microwave. Okay, so this is our mochito. Oof, it's a little warm. It is pretty warm, so let's keep using our Halloween towels to hold this in place for us. And if you look at the dough, it's starting to get, it's really fluffy right now. Like it's starting to get really fluffy and it's really like that mochi texture is what we're seeing right now. So let's go ahead and see where we're at. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
That's what we're looking for. That's that mochi texture right there in the bowl. It is hot, so remember to take heat precaution and use your Halloween towels as much as you can. Don't burn yourself, don't burn your fingers. And let's go ahead and get this onto the tray. So for this next part, we want to take out our baking sheet or a nice flat surface where you're comfortable rolling dough. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill that with starch. Not like fill that with starch, but I'm just going to go ahead and get some starch in there. Now I'm using cornstarch. Uh, I've heard tapioca starch is cool um, and other forms of starch. I'm pretty sure are fine. Whole point is you don't want this to stick because mochi dough is going to be very sticky. So let's just go ahead and smooth that around our pan a little bit and make sure that's all smoothed down. It also doesn't matter if you get it on your hands because again, it's super sticky. So let's keep some starch uh, as topping too. We're going to throw it on top of the mochi dough once we get this out there. So once your pan is pretty well dusted, let's get that on our hands. And this is the part where it's really going to get messy. Roll up our sleeves. All right, let's get our mochi dough out here. And we're going to have a helping hand pour it just right out onto our sheet. It's still very sticky and again, it's going to be super hot. So be careful where your oven mitts. Get this out here. I'm going to use a spatula to get the rest out actually. As much of the dough as you can. And we're not going to give any to our cat. All right. So once we have the dough out here, once again, it's hot, but we need to work with it while it's hot. So once we have as much dough as we can out here, let's go ahead and cover it with a little bit of starch. And you can like feel the heat emanating from it, like it is hot. So get that on there. Oh yeah, that's hot to the touch. Get enough starch on there so it doesn't stick to anything because it will stick. Okay. Oh boy, that's warm. All right, all right. Let's not, let's not stick to anything. Oh crap, that's warm. That'll be really nice on a cold day to like make this, to be honest. All right, so that's our warm dough. Let's go ahead and we're going to take a nice little bit of this. Oh, it's hot, hot, hot. We're gonna actually cut it with our spatula because it's like, it's real hot. So we have our piece. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's hot. Oh boy. We're going to try to flatten that a little bit and spread it and it's hot. <laughs> like I can't emphasize, this is hot. Please do not burn yourselves. Let's be smart during this quarantine and not bake ourselves. Oh look, it's a little hard. Yay! Okay, that's hot. Um, anyway, let's just spread it out a little bit without burning ourselves because not burning ourselves is the smart thing to do. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take our ube jam that we have here. We're gonna take like a half scoop and we're just going to like dump it out very nicely. That's gonna be the filling for my mochi that we have here. And we're gonna just wrap this up, fold it over, fold it over, and we're gonna squeeze and pinch to close. Oh, it's hot. It's still hot, remember that, it's still hot. And we're gonna roll that a little bit in the starch. And that's our mochi. That's how you make mochi. And it's gonna be a little hot, 
You can wait for it to sit at room temperature. You can put whatever filling you want in there. I like uba jam, but that's just it. That's how you make mochi. So good job, everyone. Good job not burning yourselves. Good job washing your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds beforehand. Um, now go get some rice flour and go have yourself some mochi to eat. Treat yourself, buddy. Now is the time to treat yourself. <laughs>